right, folks, we are live. It's the Info Warrior this Tuesday, June 2nd, 2009. We're going to be taking your calls, 866-582-9933. And in the second hour, we're going to have both Luke Radowski and Manny Badillo of WeAreChange.org out of New York City on to discuss their latest confrontation with the senator out of New York, the woman who replaced Hillary Clinton. We played the video on the air yesterday. We're probably going to play that again today. Lots of videos to play for you yet again on the Info Warrior. Um, you know, I despise Glenn Beck probably more than most disingenuous uh, news personalities, if you will. However, he was good enough recently to have a member of CampaignForLiberty.org on his program where she was portrayed in a positive light. And she got a lot of really good things out there. She talked about Campaign for Liberty. She talked about the fact that we need to hold the government accountable. She said some very... uh very intelligent things about the Federal Reserve System and why they needed to be audited. Actually covered 1207. There's a couple mainstream news outlets that have covered it once. And I think this is the first time I saw Glenn Beck cover it. I know uh, one of the main guys out of CNN also covered it. That clip coming up this hour. Now, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what to make of this story about Jay Rockefeller. We just checked into it, and I, I thought I was sure because I've been reporting on it. Jay Rockefeller sponsored the Cybersecurity Act that's currently in the House. Now, we've been focusing on that and the Cyberbullying Act, which is being promoted by none other than pop sensation Hannah Montana. Now, there's some articles out there uh, I'm being sent. Rockefeller cautions about administrative cybersecurity paranoia. West Virginia Senator Jay Rockefeller has slammed two proposed bills that would step up monitoring of the Internet by the government. Calling the Internet development a pinnacle of information age, he lamented the worries about security could use back to pieces of paper. Both the Bush and Obama administrations had indicated the Internet attacks threaten America more than terrorists in airplanes. Yeah, well, how about government black ops in airplanes? Those are the real terrorists that were in the airplane, sir. Uh, under the right hacking scenario, Internet traders can conceivably disrupt or seize control of electrical grids, defense installations, or banking transactions. However, the West Virginia senator believes that the two bills are too restrictive on freedom and civil liberties, which has led to the Nets freewheeling expressive content. Now, I'm not sure what to make of this. This could just be Orwellian doublespeak, him coming out against possibly the Cyberbullying Act and a separate Cybersecurity Act that I'm unaware of. We're going to look into it and not his own and saying his is the right bill. See, getting things done incrementally, saying, yeah, those other two are bad, but this one's good. Folks, I don't know how many times I have to explain it in this program, but you are already being tracked, traced, and databased. Let me say it again. Tracked, traced, and databased through everything you do on the Internet, through everything you do on your cell phone. It's open. It's out there. AT&T versus Hepting, brought up in January of 2006, yes, over three years ago, and still no resolution. It was thrown out of the federal courts. It's in appellate court right now. They use national security powers to get it thrown out, basically. They said, no, we're the government. We're, the, we're your gods. We'll do what we want. That's how we roll. And the Bush administration, although they did it illegally, has granted themselves retroactive immunity. That means immunity from all crimes they've done before in the past, which is absolutely ludicrous. Meanwhile, people are ninnying about Leahy and his truth commission, which would be nothing but softballs anyway. I mean, Leahy is part of the problem. Pat Leahy is not a good person. I mean, I guess he's, you know, a little bit better of scum than some of the rest, but that doesn't mean that he's not scum. He's scum. Straight up. Learn to live it, not to love it. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. Like I said, we'll be taking your calls, 866-582-9933. Go check out InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv, and my Bobby Bloggins, TheInfoWarrior.com.